sorry, I was a couple minutes late. I no, no worries. Lock the doors. <laughs> no worries. Greg, you, would you like to kick us off with the agenda? Sure. Let me. I'm uh, doing the minutes as we're talking. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I was looking over the agenda a few minutes ago. <clears throat> All right, awesome guys. So I just got to get started on um, with the with the program information. <clears throat> so current programs, we just finished up with with soccer, and uh, we had the end of the year party. It went really well. Um, we had some kids from the older group even come down to 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 do that with the younger guys. We had snacks, and you know all the kids played on the playground, and we had some stuff set up for for for, for them to do. So. It, it was good. I think that gets better and better every year. And that's a, that's a pretty good group. I think that group of um, pre-K and K that's kind of gone through is, is getting bigger and bigger. And we've got a pretty good group of coaches that, that coach in there. So I think that'll be another, another good group going through of, of, of families and coaches. Um, but we just finish up soccer and get, getting ready for basketball. Um, the, the other current thing is we obviously they just did the, the rag shag parade and the big Halloween party. Um, thank you. Obviously, you guys were there, but we had, I went through the video and counted the people going in. We had over 200 go in just at the start. Um, and you guys know there are other, there are people coming in and out all night. Um, I think that was a good atmosphere. I like doing the, where we had the game set up for them to play and the, the snacks and, and all those things. I thought that was a really good flow and created a good atmosphere. But um, I mean, you guys know when I was good, uh, the, 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 all the people that volunteered, you know, Key Club and Girl Scouts and you know, National Honor Society and then y'all and your families and the businesses that gave stuff, and the, you know, the fire department, police department that, that helped the kids. And I, I know that's a that's a big thing. And I, I said that in the, the department head meeting uh, yesterday. It's I'm not from here and I, I'm not familiar with, you know, the rag shag, you know, tradition, those things. So it was it was cool to be a part of that and see that happen and see what that did for the community. But you know, the more and more things we're doing, we're seeing the community. I'll talk about some of these other programs, but seeing people pull together and, and have fun at these events has really been, really been cool. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, we had, we had pickleball started on Monday. Uh, right now we have over 70 people registered. Um, so like all pay. these messages coming through, <laughs> like on the park and rec Facebook. And I'm like, Oh, like part of pickleball is like on fire. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been good. Um, That's great. We had a lot of people show up. The school allowed me to go in and I I'd laid down um, painter's tape and taped the courts. Um, it actually looks really sharp because <laughs> it's these thick blue lines that, that are the pick all course over the gym. So that looks really good. And, yeah, um, I was watching it. I was checking it out. Uh, the post that you put up, that was that was really interesting because I've never done it. And it was like, uh, wow, this is a uh, hardcore. Yeah. You know, and I was I was talking to one guy that was there and um. You know, he was he's 77 and he plays and goes and does that. And then, you know, there's a couple of college kids there that were doing it. So it's it's it really is all ages and, and all levels. You know, um, we were able to have we had one court who was more for like the beginners. So one of the people that kind of knew the game went over and explained some basics and got them started. And then the other two courts are people that kind of knew how to play. Um, you know, that when the again, beginners kind of figured it out, they started working their way into those other courts. But, you know, we've got a game plan for, for some of the things that we're just learning as we do, because we don't, you know, we're learning about pickleball. Um, you know, then there's, it's, it's pretty good because we've got people, I mean, we've got people from Springfield and Belchertown, South Hadley and Amherst and all over uh, registered wow. and attending the program. Um, and I think people are going to keep coming. So it's like I said, it's, it's it, was, it was a pretty good night and a good experience. Like, um, I think the attendance should, uh, should stay where it, it's definitely worth keeping doing that. And, you know, if the demand keeps keeps showing how high the demand is for pickleball, then maybe we can do some other things moving forward. <clears throat> um, we started basketball last night. Uh, we right now have about 40 new people registered uh, for the year. We had 16 in attendance last night. Um, it was, again, it was a great experience. The guys, it's a pretty good group of guys. Uh, probably about a third of them were guys that were here last year. So that means we had about 10 people that were brand new uh, that oh, wow. were there last night. So I think we've got a good group of people that are coming up and coming through and, and enjoying that. Um, one of the guys came over and asked me about volunteering and helping out and kind of being on site. Um, a guy from Belchertown, he's a math professor at, at Smith, you know. So we've got people kind of from, 
not only in the pickleball, but also in the basketball and some of these programs, you got, got people from a lot of different places come in to, to enjoy those. I think that's really good for the community. Nice. Um, and that's kind of with the, with the current stuff. You guys have any, um, any updates or questions on, on any of those or any, anything else going on or recent? I was, I thought that the rag shag, so I don't know if I told you, I think I might've told Steve or Jim that I had seen a post I had done, like when we went live in like 2018 before the pandemic, like when we did it. And then I think 2019, we had rain because I think that's when we had my father start saying, come on down to the Legion, yeah. maybe another year. And I'm like, no, we want them there now. But, um, <laughs> that <was> so, right. yeah. <laughs> God, so anyway, the, hay, the hay was yeah. blowing out into the street. Yeah, and I was like, let's put the, what is that, that hook around the neck and pull them off stage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. But anyways, I I saw a, the rag shag we did, I think, last, and it lasted a minute. <laughs> and the one that I recorded on whenever day that sa Sunday was, was three minutes long. So that, and I think Steve said it was the biggest he had seen there. So, I mean, it was yeah. a great crowd. And I think it was good, you know, like I was a little bit worried, like, oh, if we don't have like entertainment for them, like if we don't have mad science or um, Popolarski, you know, like what we're going to mm -hmm. do. But I, I would only recommend when the day should I might make is to make it a little shorter if we're not going to do entertainment, because it looks like people come in, do the activities, get the treats in, which is fine. Yeah. I mean, it seems like that's enough for them. I mean, I think I don't know what you guys think, but you know yeah i think it was good and i think i think there was enough there was a lot of different treats obviously but i think there was enough activities where people would come in and stay active and can kind of hang out a little bit and and be there for a majority of the time you know right um having the multiple you know kind of step and repeat photo stations and and having those multiple activities for the kids and all the little prizes and stuff i think that's like like you said, they could come and do the stuff they wanted to do and then leave when they wanted to leave. So so like I said, kind of like carnival carnival atmosphere, I think was really cool. Yeah. And I mean, we've been talking about this, like, even with church, you know, like things are very cyclical, you know, like you're going to have some great families and participation, then you're going to have it kind of be a lull and then get some more great families that want to do town stuff. Like, I, I think we have a great trend right now where these younger families actually want to do you know, stuff and probably after the pandemic also just get out, you know, so that's great. Um, yeah. And then just my other comments were about like, I was seeing, you know, I like, <coughs> excuse me, I like your posts. Like, I think they're professional looking, you know, like when, you, like I saw the um, basketball sign up, you know, and it's, I think that that's, those are really good, you know, and they catch people's attention, you know, Cool. Thank you. and of course, pickleball. I know people are going crazy over it. I mean, it's just, I don't, I don't know if we want to even, I mean, I don't know if we can consider another night or if that would, you know, be too much or I don't know. What do you feel about how that's managed right now or whatever? No. And if, I mean, right now having 30, there's a lot that kind of maxes out. You know, right. Where they can get in a few games. The games will often, um, right. you know, 10, 15 minutes maybe. So they're, they're be able to work through and get, get it in and, um, but we talked about, you know, if, if, if the attendance stays consistently this high, or at least where it's above 20, I think over the next few weeks, we need to consider, and I, and I brought it up the other night, but consider doing something maybe like on Saturday afternoons, um, just because there is no other night, you know, with, with CYO basketball, even, I mean, our basketball teams aren't, don't have enough to have the, the full gym for a couple hour practices, you right. know, so. Right. But, you know, if I'm over there, if we're doing if we're doing basketball on Saturday mornings, you know, the, the Frontier League basketball, then maybe we can get something. And, and you know, that's pending custodial coverage and all that type of stuff. But I, I think I Saturday even mornings would be the next best option. Yeah. I, one person that I saw asked a question, I think hers was by a post, was Barbara Anderson. And I hike with her and we had been talking about it, like, you know, getting there to play, you know. So, I mean, uh -huh. I think there's a lot of interest, you know, and people even potentially just talking about it you know yeah well yeah. And, that, and we also talked about maybe doing a doing a tournament um probably february march and um, get through some of the holiday stuff i think a tournament might be a good idea yeah, yeah. decide to um 
do something like when I forgot what we did where V1 and someone, oh, V1 and someone else, I think, sponsored a team. Oh, I can't remember what it was. What was it? That was a basketball the tournament. Basketball that team? Three, three on three one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We did a three oh, on three. Oh, that's what it was. The tournament. Yeah. 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 If you do something with pickleball um, selfishly, <laughs> I would like to, you know, keep me in mind for sponsorship or something because okay. um, I work with a resort chain that does pickleball tournaments oh, and awesome. they want us to like get groups down there and all that. And I'm like, you know, so I figure if I can slowly start getting my name out with pickleball people, that's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to do so. I mean, I, I brought it up. Um, okay. There were some people from South Hadley. There's a group from South Hadley that actually that came up on Monday and I asked about um, additional nights and tournaments and they were all over the idea of, of doing a tournament. So I, th I think there's definitely going to be interest for that. Yeah. Maybe like if you need it for like trophies or something where I can get some like name out to, you know. Right. Cool. Uh, okay. And you might, that's not a bad idea about Saturday too. Maybe you get some stragglers that can't, you know, right. they're working during the week. Shift, yeah. they're, doing, they're doing night shift and, and they don't have any time during the week. Um, you know, they, they, you always get those gripes. Yeah, I would do it, but it's only weeknights, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah, you can't please yeah. everybody, but that might not be a bad idea one Saturday, every yeah. other Saturday. Well, and that's the thing. If those numbers are that high and we can even get where, you know, there's there's eight people coming consistently. So there's a couple games, a couple games going over there on, on those time slots. I think that'd be that'd be worth doing. You know? Cool. Yeah, I mean, All I right, think um, that's part of the good thing is to stay <clears throat> up with like trends like this, you know, like my god like 10 years ago we weren't looking at pickleball we didn't even know what pickleball was you know so i think it's good to stay up with the trends and all that yeah most definitely and that that definitely is picking up <clears throat> all right so um upcoming programs our youth basketball registration actually closes tomorrow uh right now we have 61 kids registered so the numbers are have gotten i think pretty good for that cyo is oh. doing their league but it looks like we're still going to have enough to do um, two first and second grade teams, a third and fourth grade team, and also a, a fifth and sixth grade team. So um, that's, I think that's pretty solid numbers. Um, yeah. All things considered, especially. Um, again, that younger group, we'll, 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 we've already got some coaches lined up for those teams. We'll have our coaches meeting on Monday. Um, after that meeting on Monday, we'll be able to get to, to everyone out what the practice schedule is and and all those things. So I, I think I think the basketball season is looking good. I talked to um, Jim Ewan, like, I think he's at Sunderland. He's kind of kind of puts everything together. He's been a, a, a pretty good a pretty good friend since I've gotten started on this. Um, he's yeah. a pretty good guy. But anyway, um, we talked about the the basketball season. I think there you know there's the based on he told me <clears throat> someone walked into his office. <clears throat> I'm sorry, and and showed him the pickleball stuff we're doing and said we need to be doing something like this. So. Um, so we talked about pickleball and some other stuff yeah. too, but you know, they're going to do the coaches clinic and the, 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 the players clinic and they're going to do all that stuff in Sunderland again. So um, all that stuff's coming up, coming up in December, but they'll start practicing. Um, I think the week of December 12th, our teams will start practicing and then they'll start playing that first week of January. Nice. Um, so, so you know, same thing. We'll do that frontier league with, with all those schools and, and play Saturday mornings. Um, cool. The, the Christmas event, we've, I've talked to the, the Santa and Mrs. Claus. They're in for the 17th is the date we're, we're planning. Um, so we have talked to the, the fire department and the police department and well, and we've kind of confirmed that date. So um, we haven't met, but I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll meet with them as we kind of get a little closer to um, confirm all the, kind of talk about all the stops that they're going to be making leading up to the event. And then, um, I'd like to spearhead the, everything that goes on at the school. Um, and kind of my idea, guys, and I, I'd seen Jim and brought up last night, is that at the, he was at the, the basketball practice before, before men's basketball. Um, I know in the past they did a, like a lunch with Santa. Um, I, I think for all, with a, just because of a lot of different things, I, I, I like doing the snacks instead of the lunch. Um, like we've done, you know, we did like we did for Halloween, we did for Easter. I think having that table out with all the snacks, um, especially after COVID, I don't think people are as comfortable just all eating out of a out of the same thing in an open in an open area. Um, I also think if if I, like I said, I'd like to create more of that carnival type atmosphere, 
So I think having where they can go in and get, you know, bags of snacks or chips or um, cookies or whatever it may be and, and walk around and do those activities instead of, you know, having to supply those places for people to sit and clean up and all that stuff. I think that's for the, the purposes that we're running these. I think having the, the snacks instead of the pizza is a, uh, is a much better fit. Um, you guys have input on that or see that differently? No. I, mean, I guess I guess as long as what time so would you change the timing of it um I don't think so I mean I think everything can say the same but instead of having that extra variable as oh we got to get the beats here at this time and that things um we do the you know because because you know that the, the the Halloween create event I think created a pretty cool flow the way it was we had it set up because you know they came in and we had all the the step and repeats on the side you know and I've purchased some, you know, a bigger one for behind Santa, a big 10 by 10 one. Then we also have a couple smaller ones that we're going to use. So we can kind of set it up where, you know, they can come in, get their picture with Santa, exit the stage, have a couple other picture stations set out. Um, and then on the other side, down that wall, have the, all the snacks and everything so they can go through the line and get their snacks and treats and then go hit them again kind of as the, as the event continues. Um, I, I think down the road, I, you know, I, I've, I've purchased a couple little games, you know, like for the, for the Halloween we had where they can throw the, the bean bag and knock over the cans, you know, and then throw the bags into the, the targets and those things. So I've got some other stuff I've got us for Christmas. Um, I'm going to add some things to that, some, to have some events and games. So I guess short answer is not really because, you know, we will still do the thing where Santa gets there and do the pictures and everything. Um, we just take out that variable of, you know, trying to get the pizza there at a certain time and feeding everyone at a certain time. So families can kind of, you know, come and go as they please. I guess the only um, other thing that was timed really was the, the door prizes. Um, but I think if we keep a standard, you know, Santa gets there at, at noon, you know, door prizes are at, you know, 1245 or, or whatever it may be. Um, as long as we have that stuff out, I think they'll be, they'll be easy to maintain some semblance of a, of a schedule. What did what did Jim think? Um, he 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 was down. He agreed. Um, I don't, but you know, I don't think the pizza is essential. I, I think it's it's that atmosphere we create and that we're giving them something. You know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If we're keeping it at lunchtime, I mean, it depends. Like what our our whatever you want to call it helpers are like. You know, because I mean. I could have Dave go to University Drive and pick up the pizzas or Christian can drive now, you know, stuff like that. I, d I don't know. I mean, Steve, you don't have an opinion really either way or to go. I mean, you what? mean to, to continue on and, and, and get them? Yeah. I mean, the questions about about having the pizzas or not. I was, I was kind of fading in and out. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like if we're keeping something like the events for lunchtime, like that we have people that not necessarily, you know, um, Jim or you or I or Greg or, you know, whatever to go get the pizzas, like, because I remember Jenny running once and all that. But I mean, like to have my husband or Kelly or yep. Christian or whatever run and get it. I mean, it's kind of been it's like Mara Breen had was kind of twiddling her thumbs last year, you know, and went over there and stood, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm more towards it than uh, I'm more towards having pizza than not, but I, I mean, we could try it. I also wonder what kind of crowd we're going to get. Do you know if there's any basketball events there that day, Steve? I mean, I'm um, Greg. Yeah, I don't, I don't know right now. Because one I don't, thing, I don't Greg, think when, there would be any events over there. Okay. Because one thing we used to um, have, like, kind of a conflict that basketball was going on on the other side, which was actually to our benefit because the, the teams, like the kids, would come over mm -hmm. from there and eat, and that kind of attracted them, if you will, to the event. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we'd have any problem getting them there and and i don't know I, I just i just think i like the the ring of the more of the lunch style lunch with santa 
and I, I definitely could get, um, my wife would definitely run if she's in town or my daughter and Liam, Liam's home too. So yeah, <laughs> we got people to go. 17th. Make, make and and you know what? And... Yeah. Kara is too. So that's for the cost of them at like big Y for those oversized pizzas. I think they're like, what, what do we pay 20 or 40 bucks? Something like that. Yeah. You get quite a bit of bang for your buck and, you know, and then we'd have some volunteers to help clean too, you know, and pick up. I don't, I don't know, Greg. I mean, I'm a little partial to just, it gives a volunteer something to do, like scoop, put on plate and whatever. And I think COVID wise, if that's why we had someone over there scooping and putting it on there, I mean, obviously it's kids, right? So some kids aren't right in and, you know, but mm -hmm. we try to keep them from doing that. I don't know. I'm more for it than against it. Okay. Especially if it's lunch with Santa and Mrs. Claus. Yeah, that's just the, the bell there, the ringing the bell. I don't, I, I would definitely have, have someone uh, probably handling, handing it out, you know, and, and, uh, and doing it like that, that would, that would be fit safer. I think, and the parents would get, be more appreciative of us keeping it under control, oh, yeah. you know, having the, having the gloves in there. I wouldn't mind doing that. You know, we've always kind of had that staple. Well, besides COVID, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And some of the people that is there, that is their lunch, you know, <laughs> for that day. Okay, cool. We'll keep it. We'll keep that. We'll keep it lunch. Then instead of just snacks, we'll do, we'll do lunch. Thank you. And I'll get some, I mean, we'll provide some stuff, but it won't be the centerpiece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Greg, I, I, I forgot to, I forgot to ask you, you were talking about um, the basketball clinic and stuff. Um, do we contribute to that? Do we, do we pay for our kids? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, do. Good, um, good, it, good. It's, and that's, he said, that's kind of how we're doing. We'll pay like something per coach or and something per kid to, to go to those. But you know, it's, it's worthwhile. They have the, the high school coach over there does yeah. some basics. And I, I, you know, I, I ran, I doc Schneider and I ran the, the pre-K group last year. So we both went up and actually got, it was worthwhile. Um, nice. So, Good. Yeah. Thank you. I just yeah. forgot about to ask you that. I'm sorry. Cool. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, Fit for the Holidays Challenge. Um, we just put that out yesterday or the day before, I guess the day before yesterday. But we've already got five people registered, so numbers are looking, looking, um, going up for that. Um, I'll, I'll promote that more that? town hall and everything. It starts the, I think, the 26th of November to the 24th of December. So it's like okay. right after Thanksgiving to right before, right before Christmas. Um, and that's that one where you know, any participation for a half hour of activity, your name goes in. Um, but if they do it five times in a week, their name goes in like an extra five times. So, you know, just kind of the basic we're, we're promoting, just go do something, have some type of <laughs> some type of, of physical activity and exercise. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'll talk with, I think, Amherst Athletic Club. Um, they donated a member like a month long or three month membership or something for the spring one. So they had said that they wanted to donate a, um, another membership, but I, I got to confirm it was for this or if they wanted to do the spring or, or, or not, but we've got, I mean, Barstow's gave us some extra cards, you know, from the other event. And then we've got some park and red gear and some things we put together. So I still, um, we'll, we'll have some good prizes for that, but I, you know, I, I like having, it's good. We're having some people already, already doing that. Um, the ski program, we just posted that, that we're registering for that. So we're going to go make it a six week program. I mean, last year we did four week and just some of the feedback I got, people wanted to go a bit longer. So, um, we're going to do a six week program this year, but it'd be kind of the same thing. It's scheduled to start that first week of, of February. Um, then they don't meet the, the school vacation week. So it'll go through basically the, about the end of March. And I think then that last week in March, first thing in April, April, we put down as our alternate dates, but um, that'll get, like I said, that registration is open. That'll get started in, in February. Um, pretty much the same program as it was last year. They're, they're only offering beginner level lessons. Um, they're not answer, offering the advanced lessons anymore. Uh, just, they said, because it's demand from that program, which, which makes sense. But um, I, I've, I've, we've gotten some interest. We already have a handful of people registered for that, for that as well. 
Um, the other thing is the Festival of Lights contest. As we get closer to that, um, I put some stuff together. I just emailed our, our email list right now is um, the total list is up above 800 um, active emails that have neither, you know, bounced or, or been um, unsubscribed. We're still at, I think, 785 right now. So our, our, our email communication list has gotten pretty good. Um, our Facebook, um, you know, will we'll stay between three and 10,000, um, usually around five to 7,000 um, engagements on a, you know, every whatever 30 day um, span when, when, when you are 28 days, what they go by that, that you're looking at it. So um, it's staying, it's, it's, it's our, our social media is, 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 is getting a lot of hits. We've got, I had someone last night or um, maybe it's a pickleball the other night, just make a comment on how much that, that they get a lot of their stuff from social media. So um, we're up, we're still, still above a thousand. I think we're at, at, at 1,050 um, followers. So, so we're, we're getting, we're getting the word out. Um, but that, that Festival of Lights contest, um, I was going to see if we can kind of coordinate a, a schedule to, to maybe y'all help go do the judging. Um, I don't know if we're gonna need to go take pictures of the houses or, or what we need to do. Last year, I drove around and not being um, super familiar with the area. Uh, I, I probably drove around for four hours, you know, trying to look for houses and, and figure stuff out. And it was, it was, it, it, was, it, was, it was a little challenging. Um, plus then to, you know, take pictures and get the judges and everything. So I uh, want to like to find a night where where y'all are available, or if we, we can pull small groups together to 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 do that part of it. Um, the police department has I know they've helped out in the past. Um, I, I know the, they they were a little bit out of out, out of out last year because some so they, I, they you know they, I think they had some sick families and things like that. So I ended up doing a lot of that stuff. But I, I, I think this year if we can as our department try to try, try to head up um getting that organized and, and doing the judging and stuff that's we can we can stay ahead the, ahead of the game on that sure um anything on those things guys <laughs> no no i think that's a good idea if we divide the town up into maybe into quadrants and and uh go do some judging yeah, and, and you know, I might, might could get. I've talked to Alex, and, and, and you know, the guy Alex uh, Marcha, the guy that's doing Hadley Media, um, he's doing a really good job, and he's pretty active with stuff. So, I, and we are going to start working together more and more, and he's going to start doing some some promo videos and some things like that. Um, and we've got the numbers of it to, to, I think, to warrant those things. Um, so I, I think as he comes in and then helps put those things together, that's going to help our help our participation out more and more as well. Um, nice. uh, next agenda items of Turk Park. Um, exciting things. We've got a couple more items we're waiting on in the, the Home Depot order. Once we get those items, we can schedule the, the team from Home Depot to come out and install the benches and, uh, and gazebo and picnic table. I think we're still waiting on the, the picnic table. The pallet wasn't marked exactly what was in it. So I got to go through their DPW is getting everything out of because they were storing that stuff for me. They're taking everything over to the Turka. So I can op get the pallets open and I can inventory what's all in there so we can get that scheduled with Home Depot. Um, Willie Goat is the, the company we got the play sets from. We did receive both play sets, um, but now it's, I, I've, there were three pallets that I've unloaded and I'm kind of still working on, I got to inventory <laughs> every little piece <laughs> from all those pallets so I can schedule them to come out and um, I got to confirm inventory before they'll before they'll come out and do the install so oh. we're, we're in the process of doing that um, I'm working on that hopefully I'll have that inventory done by um, everything hopefully done by by Monday I, I want to get it done by tomorrow early afternoon but um, some of that stuff is, is super time consuming I mean it was that pack list was six pages like that with about 12 digit numbers <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's taken me a while to go through and get that all but i've i've, I've i'm about a about a third halfway done with the with, with those first three pallets but um that's kind of the process with those but it's going well uh, people are excited you know and i've i've had people on both sides say oh no one uses that and people oh yeah i'm excited to use it but you know the first day i was out there you know i had those pellets and i was sitting there and doing inventory um, at least four different people came up to me within a couple hour span 
and talk to me about, wow, what's going on out here? And they're super excited and, you know, rec more recommendations on things that I can see in the park. So, you know, people are excited about that park. And I think especially once we get those things up, it's, it's going to be a great atmosphere. I mean, there are people with their kids, you know, riding their bikes around the walking trail and, um, you know, just people, people going out there to walk or, or just be out there in that, in that atmosphere. So it's yeah. a really nice park. And I, I, I think it's a, it's been a great, it's going to be a great investment for the, for the town awesome. to do the things we're doing, you know? Cool. Um, so you, uh, y'all, any, anything on the, on Saturka? Yeah. Steve was telling me he sees people there all the time now. Yeah, I go by every other day and, and they're just sitting there, whether they're doing chalk on the sidewalk or they're doing, they're just learning how to ride a bike and, and all that. And uh, they're setting up just blankets. The last one was really nice there. Yeah. And they're just hanging out, you know, <laughs> that'll be such a nice addition. Yeah. And a yeah, lot of people so. have asked me, you know, I feel bad. They, they're asking me, so what's going up? And I go, well, like a play structure in two parts. And well, what's, what's in it and i go i don't really know <laughs> i feel bad i feel inept you know and yeah. i'm like but you're gonna like it um so you're really gonna like it um so i it i, I can't wait and um that'll be cool because i know there's a lot of families a lot of new people on my street in woodlawn like like probably not since like when diane was in middle school and that there when we moved in here there was only about I want to say six or eight kids, um, my son's age. And now there's a lot and there, there's a lot of them for between three years old and eight years old. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. And there's yeah, a I bunch of so, strollers, a yeah. bunch of people in strollers and that and, and pushing them. And, uh, you know, like Paul Kozum's uh, wife, Oh yeah. they got, you know, her and I've seen her walking around with like two different strollers and <laughs> a lot of families that are going to lose. I like that and enjoy it. I believe that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome, man. Um, so softball field next to Jen Item is the, is the softball field. So Jim and I met with Carolyn and Mara Breen uh, phoned in. So we all talked to Carolyn on Monday kind of about the, the process and kind of where we were with, with the field. Um, a lot of the things we thought we were going to have to do in the process, we're, we're not going to have to just because the amounts are less than, <laughs> you know, they're, they're under certain certain caps that you hit so it's going to be a little simpler process we initially anticipated but it's still you know going through the state and, and getting the bids and doing all those things so um, we've got a pretty good game plan with with where we're going to and how we're getting doing the bidding process and, and all those things so um, I think we're on on track we're moving forward with working on the softball field um, you know all that land out there and things as a turka I think there's there's so much more we can do and more I'd like to do moving forward um, but I think the kind of where we are with with the improvements we're making as a Turka and with, with getting this foster, getting this field started, I think that's a that's a great start. Um, you know, even if initially for this field, it's you know getting the parking area and driveway and getting the backstop up and getting the groundwork all done. Um, I think we're in a good position with the money we have to at least get it where it's it's getting started and and, and we can we can get a playable get get a playable soon. Um, I mean, there's a lot of issues as far as, you know, getting the grass in and irrigation and, and, and all that stuff. But, but I think it's, um, we're, we're in a good position moving forward. With it. Cool. Um, all right. So uh, other business, I, I actually had one other thing that I, I, I didn't put on the agenda that I wanted to bring up. Um, we had talked about the facility reservation process. Um, I know Park and Rec had been involved in the past in reserving the facilities. Um, I had put together a kind of a proposal that come our department, if we're going to do that, we'd be compensated because they are using town insurance. You know, it's, it's, it's taken time to go through that process to, for, for Park and Rec to do all those things. Um, in doing that, we, we, uh, I spoke with the select board about it and the, the town representative, uh, Su uh, Susan, brought up the concerns about the town insurance being used by you know randoms to rent the facilities and if i'm doing that then now they're that that, that creates extra liability for the town um so after kind of digging into that and looking at our insurance policy and those things um we've kind of decided that it's it's not that park and rec is no longer be 
is not going to be involved in that process for offsite entities. Um, it's just it's it's for no reason taking on that liability for the town. So people can um, reserve those facilities from the school on their own. They can use their their personal homeowner's insurance to to cover that insurance requirements. So people can still do it, um, but that's not going to go through through park and recreation any longer. Um, I mean, I'll still I'll still go through the school for all those our our own things. Um, you know, I'll still do the reservations for the um, you know Chris's the the, the Tykes uh, soccer camp that comes in and things like that. That the events that we sponsor. But uh, the random, you know, select team or people that want to work out and things like that, uh, Park and Rec won't be involved in that in that process. I got that sense, guys? Yeah, so they circumvent us and they go right to the school. Correct. Correct. Yep. Gotcha. Cool. That's cool. Cool. Uh, you, you guys have anything else that we um, we didn't get on the uh, on the agenda? No, no. I guess, I mean, I guess just what you need from us for the Christmas event, you know, it sounds like you've already reached out to, you know, the fire station police and stuff. And I'm assuming you're going to get in touch with those people for volunteers. Yeah. Yeah. Just um, as we get closer again, volunteers, um, the Girl Scouts actually reached out to me already uh, about a week Good. ago. Yeah. I was awesome okay. asking about it. And I said, hey, I'm told them about the date and said, I'm finalizing all this stuff before we get it all, get it all down. But since I've, since then, I've actually um, locked in Santa and, and some of those things so we can start um, really ironing in who we have and everything. So um, I'll reach out to them either tomorrow or beginning of the week and then trying to lock in our numbers of volunteers. And that, yeah, I, I was so pleased with the number of people we had for the Halloween event. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. And we needed it, you know. Thank we God, needed, right. we didn't need all that help, right? <laughs> Those volunteers yeah. were on their toes all night. And you know, did die. You were you were talking about, um, and Greg, you could pencil in my family to go because we're we're here at Big Y. You know, you can pencil us in to go do the pizzas. That'd be okay. one thing, one thing off your plate. Um, die. We, we were talking about like um, the length of time of the the Halloween, the rag shack. And, you know, it seemed long, um, but then again, certain families can't get out, you know, and I, I was like, you know, yeah, it did, like, we probably could have started picking up like a half hour earlier. There wasn't very that many people, but they were kind of just getting there, you know, and I don't, I don't know how you push it or how you say you can't enforce it. Like, <laughs> we're starting at 530, oh, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, no. And that's why I was thinking like proactively next year where we say, you know, this is the timing. You know, so it's not, I mean, there were a couple comments like, you know, you know how we won't turn away anyone, you know, but um, Cruella DeVille and her people, I think, were kind of like swiping things into a bag and taking it. <laughs> um, I think Jim's wife said she saw her taking some of our decorations. And hey, if I like we were saying, I guess if you need it that desperately, you know, <laughs> have at it. But I know that sometimes we you know, we will not turn away people, but like people from other towns are kind of just, you know, making their way around parties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I don't have anything else. Um, so no. let me look at my calendar, look at the next meeting day. Bear with me a second, guys. So next month is December, obviously a weird month. Um, it's kind of right around the corner, but you guys want to schedule for that week of the 12th because that's um, the, the week after that is kind of Christmas week. Um, so maybe the, the 15th of December, is that Thursday? Does that work? Right. So. Right now, yeah. Okay, so I'll put in... Um, We'll put that down as, as as twelve fifteen, and as we get closer, if there's any issues, we can we, we can reschedule. But I'll send something out that week before to to confirm to confirm what, that date. What day was that? It's a Thursday. It's Thursday the fifteenth. Okay. I I'll I'll let you guys know too. Um, the Mothers Club is Kelly there, Steve? Yes. 
Does she know when the Mother's Club banquet is? Christmas banquet? I can text Barb too because she takes notes. Again. She's checking right now. Okay. That that would be the only thing I would need to get back to you about with timing with that. Okay. Okay. And the the seventeenth is the when that event Christmas event is. So that's just two days before the the launch okay. of Santa. Cool. We can maybe retouch and rehash and. Yeah. Yeah. We can be sure we're we're good yeah. to go. Yeah, I'm okay. good on the fifteenth. Yep. Awesome. Okay. I mean, right now I think so too. December thirteenth die is your mother's club. Six okay. bells. Six bells. Be there or be square. One ten drill. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so when y'all want to move to adjourn for good? Yeah, I, I say uh, I propose uh, or I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second that. All in favor? <laughs> All of us. Okay. So, and, uh, so Diane, I'll reach out. Um, as we get closer, maybe that first week of December, we'll kind of check in. I'll, I'll check in with the volunteers um, and kind of give you an update on where we are and, and if I need any what kind of additional help or, or if I need help kind of re-reaching out to everyone again. Great. Awesome. Sure. Thanks for coming, guys. All right. Thanks. So have a good night. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank All right. you. Bye, y'all. Thank you.